Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use and boost uTorrent. What is uTorrent? Well, you probably know since you found this video, but in case you don't, uTorrent you can actually just with small torrent files as they're called, you can uh, share bits of them by uploading them and giving them to people and they give you the parts. And it's actually faster than downloading directly from the internet if you have the correct settings. So I'm going to show you how you can get that in Vista. Uh, in XP it's probably very similar. I do not know because I, well, I rarely uh, have fun or play with uh, an, uh, an XP. Okay, so just double click on uTorrent, download from uTorrent.com, and uh, here it is. Just click get uTorrent. It's a little application here, and this is how it looks. Okay, so if you want to add a torrent and you already have the torrent file, just click add torrent. Then find the torrent file and uh, it will be added to your library or I don't know what it's called. And it will be downloading. And uh, when it finishes it will be seeing seeding. That means that it's giving it away to other people well, uh, what you have. Uh, if you don't want to seed just click stop when it's selected. Or well I can recommend you seed because people have been giving you the file so seeding is the least you can do. Okay, so um, what you want to do here first, you want to go on your control panel and your internet browser. Okay, uh, this is probably different, or maybe different from you, but in your URL bar, you're going to type in 192.168.1.1. Uh, it may be different for you, but this is the default one. And uh, here you'll come to your router gateway. Uh, what you want to do is advanced settings, and then you want to go on wireless. I don't know. Uh, no, not virtual server. You'll find something called virtual server, and you'll be finding you'll be making two ports, a LAN port and a public port, and they'll both be called uh, four, five, six, seven, one. And one is TCP, and one is UDP. And then just click add, and you'll add them. And that way, those ports will be working on your router. Okay, so next, you'll be going. This is so that the ports will be working on your computer. What you want to do here is hit allow program through Windows Firewall by clicking Control Panel Home. You have it in Classic View. And this will, or something will come up in a second. Here. Then it says here uTorrent because I already have added this. Then you want to add port, and we'll just call this uTorrent. uTorrent, and the port number is the same as you have here. I mean, you you're not supposed to, or it's your choice. You want to take four, five, six, seven, one, and then one you make two ports, one with TCP and one with UDP, and that way uh, uTorrent will be working with this. Um, okay, so let's just get away from. Okay, we're now in here and you want to click Options and Preferences. Okay, then you want to go on Connection and you want to un uncheck Randomize Port Each t each Start and Enable UPnP Port Mapping. And you want to set the port to the port you just set in those other stuff. And you have, uh, and that way it will be downloading at pretty good speed. The l last thing you want is global upload rate lim limiting because you're both uploading and downloading at the same time so what you want to do is have uh, a limit on uploading so that you can focus more on downloading but you still want to share a bit because come on I mean people have been helping you and while you don't see anything here I mean I download well a few things with uTorrent I don't use LimeWire I prefer uTorrent and uh, well remember it's not virus free it, well depends on what you're downloading and uh... well just like LimeWare so I set it to 75 I set my global download rate limiting to zero because well why would you want to limit and then uh... I have 250 and 4 and this really works for me I mean this goes extremely fast for me I mean it goes really well it never goes really slow like 1% an hour or something I mean, it's like that for some people who haven't configured uTorrent yet. And 
well how to add or create torrent torrents yourself well, I'm not going to make do do that now but I'm going to go through that in another video and if you want to add torrent from URL I have no idea what that is uh, let me just find a torrent for example um, two a few sites I really like is or the site I search for torrents is torrents like this dot com well this is not a hosting site so you cannot host them but you can search on a lot of other sites I mean you can search on the pirate bay you can search on uh, sumo torrents all of those well we'll just say uh, or just twilight I don't know twilight I like twilight I like the books but uh, just here twilight dvd rip that's high quality most of the time then they'll say it's only available on mini nova just take mini nova open a new tab and torrent not found well thanks good example uh, <laughs> no but you just want to find a working torrent and you can see here the size and the peers uh, so you want to take the most peers possible or most seeds because if you don't have any seeds it's not going to be available uh, let's just I don't it doesn't matter we're just going to we're just going to take anything I'm not going to download this and we will just upload and here it says where you can download them I think I've never seen this site before and then we'll just click open with utorrent.exe and it'll come up you can just uh, well it has subtitles good quality you can just download here and uh, you can I like to have this a bit big so you can see the details better this is a pretty big file I'd say and here we have seeds that's people offline so when you have one online everything will be available because a seed is the one who has downloaded everything that's why it's called seeding peers are the ones who are downloading as well so when you're downloading you're a peer right now I'm a peer and um, well it goes pretty slow right now that's the beginning and it goes up here and it with me most of the time I'm up in 300 or 400 thanks to my settings And if you've configured anything wrong it will be either red here or I'll have that warning sign or something and yeah you see it's going up by one each time even more I mean it's really fast I really like you torn uh, I use it so thanks for watching uh, please comment this video if you liked it please rate it five stars if you well, comment if you have anything to ask for or anything like that uh, rate it five stars if you liked it rate it under five stars if you didn't and please subscribe to my two partners uh, AlexLeo9 at Tech Eclipse thanks again for watching